Hey guys, so today's video is going to be another disappointing products video. You guys seem to really like these videos, so I'm trying to do them monthly, although I gotta be honest. Discovering products I don't love is not my favorite thing. I rather discover products I really love, but I try out so much makeup that I'm bound to discover things that I don't love. I hate to give the disclaimer in every single video, but please don't be offended if one of these products is like a holy grail of yours or something you really like. Everyone is so different, we're bound to like different things. These are just products that I was disappointed with for one reason or another. Doesn't mean it's bad, it was just like, you know, not my favorite, you know? And I noticed that the majority of this is high-end. There's only like two drugstore products, but sometimes I love watching these videos if they're mainly high-end products because I feel like you have a higher standard for high-end and when it disappoints you for some reason, you're just like, ah. So the first product I wanna talk about is actually from Laura Mercier and this is the Baked Blush Compact in the shade Rosé and this is what it looks like. I think it is so beautiful. It's Stunning. And I actually bought this because a friend of mine on YouTube was raving about it, Laura from Mrs. Lola Lynn. She was talking about how much she loved it, so I ran out and bought it. We usually have the exact same taste when it comes to makeup, so anything she raves about, I buy. And I'm so sorry to say this, Laura, if you're watching, I love you, but I just don't like this. And the only reason I don't like this is because it is full of glitter. It is a glitter fart on your face. I've tried to use this so many different ways with so many different brushes because I'm crazy about this color. I think it's the most beautiful, rosy, natural blush. It looks stunning when it's on, but when I get really close to a mirror, I can just see so much glitter on my face, and I don't really like that because it makes me feel like my face is dirty. I don't know, when there's too much like glitter specks, I'm like, oh, something's off. It just, it makes me feel weird. I don't like glittery things on my face. And that is actually the main reason why I don't like a lot of these products. I like glitter in my eyeshadows, not on my face. So even though the color is wonderful, I just, I don't love how much glitter is in it. And I've even tried to like put my brush in there and then really, 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 really tap it off. You can see most of the glitter flying off, but it just, it, it gets in there. The glitter stays in there. I've used it a few times and every time I put it on, I'm like, oh, I don't like this. So I don't want to force myself to love it. You know, I just, I just don't love you. And I'm sorry, cause you're cute, but you're glittery. Okay, so my next product, it's not bad. I don't dislike it. I just have so many other concealers I love way more than these. And these are the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealers. They sent me all the colors and they're just, they're all right. I have the Aqua Luminous Foundation that actually a lot of people don't like, but I really, really love. I mean, it's not my favorite right now because I'm having some skin issues these days, but when my skin is a little bit less bumpy, um, I really love that foundation. It just looks so fresh and dewy, light coverage and perfect for every day. And I thought I was gonna feel the same way about these, but these have no coverage at all. And I'm okay with sheer coverage when it comes to foundations, but for concealers, I want you to conceal. Especially around the eye area, I kind of have a lot of darkness there. It can be a little purple and I want my concealer to really cover that. I also don't love it for blemishes for that reason that there isn't much coverage. It creases really easily on me and it just, it feels kind of weird underneath my eyes. I don't like how it sits on my skin. It's not my favorite, there's something about it. I don't know what it is, but I definitely recommend other concealers over this one. I love Becca as a brand. I feel like they can do no wrong, but this is something that just kind of disappointed me. The Tarte Shape Tape Concealer is amazing. It's so thin, it has full coverage. I highly recommend that one. I like the Too Faced Born this way because it's similar in the sense that it's more of an everyday fresh concealer, but it has more coverage than this one. There's just other high-end concealers that do way better than this. I'm sorry, I love you, but no. Okay, so I was a big fan of some of the new Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks. I even spoke about the red one in one of my favorites videos. They're so good and they're so affordable, but stay away from these colors. Like I said, these are their matte liquid lipsticks by Wet n Wild, and this one is Take It Like a Vamp, and this one is Don't Be a Plum Plum. I love how Wet n Wild names their products, by the way. They do such a good job at naming their stuff. They're always just like so punny. I love them. But anyway, these colors are very, very patchy. And I even tried to work with them, tried to do like two to three layers. But if you try to do that, it just gets really thick. It's just not the best look. And I know that a lot of companies have that problem where their dark liquid lipsticks can be a little bit patchy. But that's no excuse because there's a lot of other brands who do dark liquid lipsticks well. I don't know why some brands can get it and some brands can't, like I don't understand. They don't look pretty on the lips. I've tried to work with them, but they just don't work for me. I'm sure if you use a lip liner similar to this underneath and then you fill in your entire lips, 
that you know that could that could work I should have tried that okay so I'm not gonna get rid of these because I'm sure with a dark lip liner they might look good but on their own they're a little bit patchy but the other colors are really really good the red one I think it's called I can't think of what the name is because I have Selena Gomez love you like a love song in my head for some weird reason but these are patchy I want to talk about this I want to talk about this because I purchased it because I heard so many people raving about it and I don't like it. You know what I think it is? I think that I'm a savage. I think Celine's savageness is rubbing off on me. By the way, these scratches, can you even see that? All Celine. Savage. I feel like this brush could be amazing if you're not rough like I am. This is the bronze brush by Marc Jacobs. It was so pricey. Girl, that's expensive. But I bought it because... I mean, it's first of all, it's beautiful and it's so soft. And I actually think Danny bought this for me like as a surprise. I know he bought one of my Marc Jacobs brushes as a surprise. Every time I use this, I feel like it takes off my bronzer. So I get my bronzer, you know, I open it up and I go to use it. And every time I use it, right, I just like dip it in and I start to bronze my face. I feel like this brush is so dense that as I'm blending it on my face, it's kind of removing my foundation. Anything that was already on my skin, I feel like this brush moves it around. It could be just me, but I prefer a bronzer brush that's very, very um, loose and not as dense, not as densely packed. Maybe I'm too rough, but I'm like putting this on and it's like removing stuff underneath. It's so weird. Then again, I am a savage, so I'm sure a lot of you guys are watching this like a girl. I love that bronzer brush. It's my favorite. But I just can't get it to work. Maybe I suck, but I don't know. Let's talk about some more overly glittery things. So Urban Decay sent me their new like fall line and a lot of the stuff was really, really good. But this, in my opinion, was not. This is the Urban Decay Naked Illuminating Trio and this is what it looks like. Okay, first off, I have kind of like a lot of things I don't like about this. Sorry I sound so negative in this video. Every time I film a disappointing products video, I get anxiety while I'm filming. I'm like, oh my gosh, are people gonna hate me for saying these things? But I mean. Honestly, it's the best policy. So, I like that there's a mirror. That's amazing. I mean, it's a really, really nice... Oh, it's a really nice mirror. But the packaging is just so bulky, and the actual highlights are just like three tiny little circles. I feel like they could have made the packaging less bulky. I understand that it's baked, so they're like domed, and they're a little bit thicker, but not super huge on the packaging in terms of like traveling with it and all of that. So, not my favorite. This brush, though, this brush is actually really good. You can highlight with this. Anyway, so initially when you look at this, you're like, oh, okay, like an illuminating bronzer, an illuminating blush, and an illuminating highlight. The only one in this trio that I actually like that I would see myself using is the bronzer because even though it's glittery it has enough shimmery pigment throughout that it's not just pure glitter but I don't feel the same about these two this highlight shade the Oasis one is just it's pure glitter I personally don't like to highlight the tops of my cheekbones with glitter it's kind of shocking how bad this one is I don't know if I got a bad one because um, this blush is not as bad as this this is pretty bad and maybe that was the point of this. It was like a glittery highlight, but it's just not for me. This pinky highlight is not terrible. Like it's definitely usable and it would be a really pretty eyeshadow. But again, for my actual face, I don't like how much glitter is in this product. Not my favorite, to be honest. I don't get the hype with these things. I really don't understand. These are the Lancome Juicy Shakers. This one is called Lemon Explosion. I love how this one smells. I know they all have different scents, but this one has a bubblegum scent. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. And I hear everybody talk about how they all smell so good. And maybe it's just this one that I tried. I only have tried one, so I, I feel like I'm wrong for judging all of the juicy shakers. I find it to be a little bit pointless. I like the concept. I think it's really cute. It's like a shaker. It makes a little noise. You open it and then you apply it. It's kind of like a tinted lip balm. Kind of like a tinted lip oil, I would say. But I feel like this dries out my lips. Am I crazy? Do any of you guys have that same experience with the juicy shakers? Please let me know down below because I feel crazy. When you put them on, initially it's a really pretty soft color, but it fades so quickly. The color is like gone within minutes. Like minutes, it's gone. And then you're left with this like weird oily residue but it's not a nourishing oil it's just like this weird film and then when it dries it kind of dries out your lips I don't know I know a lot of people love this I've heard so many people rave about this but in my personal experience it's not my favorite I rather pay way less for a real tinted lip balm you know what I'm saying okay so I want to talk about two sponges this one is a shock to you guys because I spoke about this in my beauty blender dupes video and I talked about how much I love it and I still do I love this sponge but I have an issue with it okay so this is the morphe 
sponge. I know it has a specific name, can't think of it right now, but it's the red one. This sponge is so good. It's so good as a beauty blender alternative, but for some reason now, it's like really, really bleeding. In the video where I spoke about this, I talked about how it was actually the only red sponge I had tried that didn't really bleed because the red beauty blender, awful. It like bleeds all over your sink. It's a disaster. And the first like 10 times when I washed this, I didn't notice a lot of bleeding. Maybe like but barely any bleeding of the red color but now that I've washed it like 180 times it's just bleeding like crazy now and it's getting everywhere like I'm cleaning it out and the red pigment is just like all over my sink and it's like ugh. I wish so badly that Morphe would release the same sponge in like black or white or whatever nude I don't know pink something that's not this red color. Even though they're all tinted with color like the pink beauty blender kind of fades a little bit when you wash it and there's like dog hair in my face. The pink beauty blender does bleed a little bit but not to the degree that the red one did and it's just scary. You know like when you're washing your sponge and all oh, this red stuff is falling you're like oh my gosh I don't I almost don't want to put this on my face because like what if it mixes with the foundation and I apply like red pigment on my face. I don't know. Morphe if you're watching please release the sponge in a different color. Come on. And then the other sponge I want to talk about is actually the Ofra sponge. It has a name, can't remember. Like I said, I love you like a love song, baby. That's like in my mind right now, during this whole video. I can't stop singing it in my head. I'm so sad that I don't like this. I love Ofra as a brand. I love the owners of Ofra. You have no idea. Like, I feel like Ofra is like my family. They're so family oriented. I love them. I just, I don't love the sponge. It's really good in theory, but every time I wet this sponge and I try to like soak out the water, it stays like mushy and it stays stuck. And the water doesn't really rinse well. So I find that it applies my foundation a little bit more wet than any other beauty blender I use. Do you know what I mean? Are you following? Am I crazy? Yeah, you are crazy. I know a lot of you said that right now. When it's dry, it's perfect. But I mean, I like to use my sponges wet, so... It was a little bit disappointing for me. Not my favorite beauty blender dupe out there. Okay, and then the last product, I really contemplated even mentioning it in this video because I feel like I'm gonna get some hate for it. I don't wanna make anybody mad, but I don't like, okay, not that I don't like, I'm a little bit disappointed in the Anastasia Ultimate Glow Kit. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was a little bit disappointed with this. I love the packaging. I think it's so cool. I think the packaging is amazing. You get an awesome mirror. I don't think you get a mirror in the other glow kits. I love the packaging. I think the packaging is really great quality. I mean, this even glows in the dark. Does it get better than that? Let me see if I can show you. This glows in the freaking dark. Gotta turn these lights off because you can't see it. Okay, I'm gonna try to make this fast because I'm scared of the dark. Do you see it? Oh my god, you can't even see it! What? Oh my gosh, you can't see it, but I'm holding it in front of the camera and it's glowing. Okay, that was a complete fail. The camera wasn't picking up the glow factor. You're just gonna have to take my word for it. This part, the glow kit part, it glows in the dark, which is pretty cool. Not that anybody would be like highlighting in the dark, but the quality of these highlights are not my favorite. Maybe their intention was to create more of a shimmery, glittery highlight, but that's just not my personal preference. I, like I said 17 times in this video, I prefer a more sheen. These are a little bit too glittery for me. Let me just swatch them for you. So this one, this one, this one. I'm gonna swatch them right now like this. Oh my god, Anastasia, please don't hate me. I love you so much. You're one of my favorite brands. I really, really, really love you. Okay, those are the, the bottom three colors. I'm going to grab highlights from their other glow kits, and I'm going to compare them. Okay, so I have some of the glow kit shades in my Z palette. They're obviously different colors, but just I'm just comparing the pigmentation. So I'm going to swatch them right next to the other ones. You cannot tell there. They're more pigmented and they're way less glittery. I will put inserts, I will give you better shots in this video. I'm just being a little bit hard on this, like you can totally make these work, but I 1000% prefer her other glow kits as opposed to this one. I was so excited to get this in the mail because like I said, her glow kits, they're amazing. You get so much for such a good price. And the same goes with this, for six highlights, it's a really good deal. I just wish it wasn't as glittery as it is. That's all I'm saying, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I love Anastasia so much, but this was, a disappointment for me. 
Okay guys, so that completes this video. These were products I recently tried out that were just not my favorite for one reason or another. I try out so many products and I try out so many brands that I'm a little bit more nitpicky with things because I always think of other products that are the same that are way better. Like, there's a ton of other bronzer brushes that are way better than that one. There's a ton of other concealers that are way better than that one. So I always compare a product to everything else. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't take any offense to it. I hope it's helpful in some way. Maybe we like similar things and maybe this video will help you out. But yeah, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Every time I sit down to film, every time. Porter scratches the couch. With so many different blushes because blushes with brushes. Oh, you see? If I don't check. Hey, what is it? Not my fa- oh. Why am I yellow? And the water doesn't really and the water doesn't really rinse well. That's a tongue twister. How does he not get tired? I'm like tired looking at him. Oh my god, it's just like, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, I didn't step on the dog. That's the Marc Jacobs brush. I thought I stepped on Porter's little paw.